Oh, there it goes. Hey, everybody. Hey, good morning. We're on the road right now and just wanted to get get in on 10 at 10 and say hello to everybody. It is, honey, it's Christmas week, huh? It is Christmas week. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. On the inside, I'm kind of like Elf. If you've watched the movie Elf, <laughs> I'm like, it's Christmas! <laughs> but on the outside, I try to keep it a little bit more reserved. <laughs> the reason why is because uh, I like gifts. And I'm sure that Pastor Peggy has gotten me some great gifts this year. Um, she has already seen all of her gifts because she can't resist getting on Amazon and seeing what the orders are and if they're shipped. So, <laughs> Hey, we just wanted to say good morning, Rose. Good morning, Esther. Good to see you guys. And Merry Christmas to everyone who is watching and will be watching. Um, we just wanted to just share a brief scripture with you guys that's found out of Isaiah. And this is Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. And it says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. That light is talking about Jesus. And great darkness, it, it's talking about this world. It saw a great light when Jesus came to this earth. And it said, on those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has shined. And then one other scripture that I want to look at is found in John 8, 12. It's a great scripture. We're kind of moving around here, guys. But it says, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And so we just want to encourage you today, uh, just as you're going throughout your day, whatever you're doing, whether you're at home, whether you're um, doing some shopping, doing some cooking, uh, to just lean into the light. Yeah. Hey, just want to give you a, just a thought about the light. The scripture that Pastor Peggy wrote, uh, read is talking about a great light, Jesus coming into the world. Before Jesus coming into the world and being born, uh, then, you know, going through uh, life, dying on the cross, before that time, there was no light in the world. That's right. There was the Jews who had Jehovah as their God, but God really did not reveal himself to anyone else. Um, so there was no light. Jesus comes into the comes onto the scene, dies, is resurrected, and now there is always light That's right. in our world. Yeah. But here's the key. That light is the church. The word of God tells us in Ephesians that we are the body. He is the head. Jesus is the head. We are the body. So the church is the light now to the world. That's right. Many people are expecting Jesus or say an angel. Um, they're looking for a miracle. They're looking for all kinds of um, things that will bring relief to their life. But Jesus has said, that it will be the church who will bring relief to the world in his name. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage you to be the church. Or another way to say it is, you be the light. That's right. Amen. You are the light. Yeah. Jesus is not going to come on his own and be a light to somebody in your, in your environment. You are the light. That's right. So light it up. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And um, guys, I, um, you be the light and then also you lean into the light. And so I just want to encourage you this week is, is Christmas. This week is where we celebrate the birth of Jesus. <laughs> the best thing that we could ever sell, the best birthday that we could ever celebrate. And I just want to encourage you, man, you know, like when we're going to have a party, 
we get all kinds of maybe we prepare foods we we send out invitations we clean the house we uh, do all kinds of preparations man take some time to just lean into Jesus this week to just lean into yeah. the light to, to have him shed some light in on your life by being in his word by just spending time with him and just letting him know that you appreciate that he came as the light of the world and that he's in your life and he's the light that just shines in any place in your life to direct and order your steps so be the light and also allow Jesus to shed light on your path uh, this week. Merry yep. Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you all week on the 10 at 10s. Then see you Wednesday night yep. uh, for our Wednesday night live. We will have special guests for that one. And um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Monday, guys. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.